soul or ten rare. You feel yourself falling. Falling down deep, you impact something. Water. So much. So much water. You. You know you. You know you know this place. You start to fall down, but. It starts to hit your mind. It's. It's his precious mind. But. Something's horribly wrong. It's being drowned in water. It's suffocating. You can't quite breathe, but somehow you're able to get over that. As you fall deeper and deeper, the feathers on your body wither, fade, one by one flowing back up water cleansing them away from you. Your form starts to extend and elongate, and piece by piece you regain a sense of who you are. Coming to you, look around you, and it all kind of hits you at once. As you get deeper, you start to feel the Different sensation. It's similar to plane hopping. In fact, it's nearly identical. It tingles throughout your entire body, and then you're in somewhere else. <coughs> you fall out of the ocean, and you land in a room. A white, open expanse of nothingness. <coughs> you can breathe once more. Oh. What the... Kind of like, looks at his hands and puts one to his face. Slowly looking around, feeling how this doesn't feel right. Kind of grits his teeth. I already told you, curse. She's mine. And he will start to walk forward. God, why is everything... That much does he remember right now? It's so hazy. All of it's so hazy. The last thing you remember was... You saw her? She was hurting? Why was she hurting? You don't know why she's hurting? Maybe it was something you did. Uh, could have been. If only you hadn't used that damned gun. Yeah, that was my fault, but... Kind of winces and puts a hand to his head again. Before regaining himself. <sighs> No, I had to do it. They would have gotten hurt. She would have gotten hurt. You see, Pris? Pris? You think? Her skin's dark, she's got horns, she's wrapped, she's laying on her side in the fetal position, clasping in her hands a golden orb that glows with a very, very faint light. She kind of picks up the pace. Pris? Pris. Hey. As you get closer to her, all around her in a circlet, little shards, spikes, icicles, cold iron, shoot out of the ground or in the cracks. They quiver and they bend and they point inwards towards you. You will not take this. Take what? Chris? It's me. I know who you are. Then you should know that I don't want to hurt you. One of the spears gets dangerously close to your face. 
leave like I told you. What? Chris. What are you talking about? You brought me in here, didn't you? I thought you would save me from the gun or something. What are you talking about now? Stupid stories you make up. I guess I do lie a lot, but that's because I just wanted to make you smile. That so always you made could me so take happy. it? What? No! Seeing you happy always made me happy, you idiot! This is different. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Chris, I... He kind of like looks back up where he came from and then back at her. <sighs> Something's not right, but it's alright. Ow, why now? Ow, what are you... Leave. For fuck's sake. Helakiskat! Chillat! Vatumak! She looks up. I'm gonna give her a Christmas save. What type of trick is this? Like I said, leave. And like I said, whenever you feel like it's going to be its darkest, I will be there. I will drag you out. And you want to know why? And he's going to take a step forward. I see spines of cold iron pierce your skin time and time again. You want to know why that is, Pris? Because I fucking love you. I don't care how many times you have to stab me to prove it. She looks down at the orb she's holding. She looks up at you. What is your name? You should already know it. It's me, Chris. I, it's Tenrir. I don't know you. Tears just start to fall down his face. <laughs> it's alright. What you've forgotten, I can share. Why not be What? What do you mean by that? Love is a two-way street. Not only do we take from each other, but we can also give. And he's gonna try to think back on all the memories they had together and try to give them to her. She clutches the orb tightly and a reflexive response. Attempting to hold on tight to her love. He's going to try to share all the memories that they have ever made. The good. The bad. She looks up. You're... The cold iron spears retract around her. Are you... me. Just weakly holds a hand out to you. He will reach out and try to take it as carefully and gently as he can. And where? Chris. <laughs> you look a lot different. Uh, you do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Hey, I told you. I'm your light in the darkness. Just kind of clutches around her chest with her other arm and stares downwards at the 
pulsating eye beneath you of a magical well of her consciousness, if you had to imagine. She slowly <laughs> lets the orb rest in the palm of her hand. It was that you just said? That... To... To... With love you have... With love it's not just taking from each other, but it's also giving. Mm. It's a two-way street, and... If you're missing something, he's going to put his hands gently on both her cheeks, kind of similar to what he did whenever they were watching the uh, sky back in the Silk Flats. And if needed, I'll give you half. And he'll kiss her. She starts to cry as you kiss her. Grabs one hand around your back and just here, and I will do my love. Not just your love, Chris. Uh, he's gonna put. A, he's just gonna put a hand on it, and he's gonna focus. And try to put his in it as well. It's our <laughs> love. Fantastic. <laughs> um, as you do that, there's kind of a trembling in her hand, in the atmosphere that surrounds you. The white light flickers like a bulb on its way to diffuse. And you notice... As you do this, black, dark parts of her skin fall off, pool on the ground, slink away, hiding themselves into the cracks and the recesses of the place. She looks back up and meets your eyes. <gasps> She's just gonna pull her tight and stare at where the uh, blackness went. <sighs> this is the last time I'll tell you, you fucking curse. <laughs> She's mine. I, I knew you would come. <laughs> of course. I, I held promise. on to it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for swearing at you. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of woke me up a little. <laughs> uh -huh. Kind of like, let's go a little bit and wraps his hands around hers. Pris, I know I've said this a lot. And I'll keep saying, no matter what people say, I know people are going to say that what we are, what our love is, that it shouldn't be allowed and that we should be killed. But no matter what, I'm going to protect you. All right? She so. grabs him around the waist and just holds him close to her. Leans her head over his shoulder. And I'll oh. wait no matter how long. <laughs> okay. As long as you're by my side, I don't care. Okay. And rare? Mm-hmm. Um... This... Sure, it's worth all of this. He 
he is going to kind of like push back a little bit again to where he can look her in the eye. Tears going down his face. And kind of like move one hand to just kind of caress her cheek a little bit. Chris. Like I always tell you. It's always worth it. You're always worth it. And I just... I don't want to lose you again. We may not find a cure easily. Tenra. Mm hmm. If you're going to stand by my side, <laughs> um, we were wrong. About the curse. What do you mean? <sighs> and there seems to be a presence moving around through the room. I kind of figured. The curse is not. <laughs> it's not the curse. What is it? It's a god. <sighs> yeah. I can feel you there. I hope you know. I was wrong all those times I was talking to a thing. I did think it was a person. You hear in the distance what sounds like wind chimes blowing in a cold breeze. What do they want, Pris? Me, you, everything good, I do not know. <sighs> Hey. Yeah. We've gotten through this so far together. We can do it again. Okay. And what did I say? Uh, He's going to stand up and hold out a hand to her. She uses it to get up. And the other hand clenches into a fist. I told you. I would punch a fucking god if I needed to to save you. Itanra? Yeah. You look cute with horns. Horns? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. At this point, Tenra. <laughs> There's a whoosh of air and the sound of chimes, and a blade flies over and sticks out of this pillar. Oh, that's from not out good. in the distance. <sighs> what does it want? It stands up, grips your hand tightly. <clears throat> I don't know what it wants, but and then she grabs the hand and pulls it towards her. It cannot have you. Yeah. And you know what? Can't have you either. Because you're mine. And I'm yours. And in the distance you see... Form come out of the mists. Walking... Not walking, but floating in our direction. Fuck. Uh. 
I guess she's just gonna hold your hand and ask... N? Yeah. I really don't know if we can do this. <laughs> Not alone, maybe. But... We're never alone. Everyone's always here with us. Right in here. And he'll put a fist to her heart. Mm -hmm. Right, metaphor. <laughs> I metaphor, remember. and I feel like we might be able to try and do something. I don't know. I have an idea. And then you become aware of a voice. Just in general, you hear it in your minds. Ugh. I thought you had left my domain for good. Why do you return once more? This one's emotions are mine. That's where you're wrong. What you've taken from her, I'll gladly give her back. Does the grain of sand wish to face the ocean? Very well. I already told you. She is mine! And you are not going to take anything more. You will make a lovely addition to my souls. Chris, having no weapon of her own at the moment, calls upon Tenrir to summon his blade in her hands. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keeping her hand on you, he's going to try and cut this blade in half. And seven piercing damage. And the fire damage is doubled. If we think about this smartly, probably uh, we... Yeah, just... <laughs> hey, maybe we can... Wait, I have an idea, Pris. Something you, ta something you taught me a while back. Protect me for just a moment. With pleasure, Starlight. And Al is going to approach. The blade next to you detaches itself from the stone pillar. And <laughs> Tenrir. Uh-huh. Can I uh, get a Christmas save? Sure. She's going to attempt to take your resolve. Mmm, so close! Chris is going to use her ability to give you advantage on that. Okay. Blow comes through your hand, and you stay resolved. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. No problem, you should protect you. I will. Then the blade, whirling around, will strike. An attempt to take down Tenrir, but Press will get in the way and block the attacks. Holding her sword out from Tenrir in the attempt to take as minimal damage as possible. <laughs> now we're gonna get re reveal how this works. Yeah. Blade in the dark, following the curve of a crescent. The blade can traverse long distances as a thrown weapon. Each blade is multi-attack 2, if by how, but only multi-attack 1 if the blade is launched. The AC effect is only triggered by the blades that picked next to Ow, and the blades can make opportunity attack, cannot make opportunity attacks. The blade goes for a swing and misses. And what the AC effect is, is 
Owl has two more AC for every blade that is next to her. Oh god. And each blade has multi-attack too. <laughs> That's like seven too many blades. It's like yeah. way too many blades. <laughs> if we go down to Owl, um, all the blades start to form uh, a new formation around her. Uh, Tenry is going to grip Pris's hand tight and curl his other hand to his chest. There was one thing you taught me way back in Frostfell, Pris. Uh-huh. A bond cannot be broken so easily. Mm-hmm. He's going to try to reach out to everyone he's made a bond with. Kiana, Solomon, Abraxas. Joel. He's gonna see if he can't summon them all. Hmm. <laughs> well, as it happens, you can't summon them all. However, back in the grandfather tree, Achi holding his hand over Pris. It's like something's happening in there. Her fallen. Range is dropping. Whatever he's doing, he's succeeding. That's good, <laughs> right? Probably. I don't fucking know. Oh, help. I can send in anybody that is, um, how you say, any people All of us, that share a bond. Me. Pretty much right. everyone but me. And the <laughs> Braxis kind of like pops out finally. And however. Me. One of you needs to stay behind because he's holding his hand. I need to focus on this and more vessels start rounding the corner. They're gonna try and help her out. I need defense. Uh, Solomon jumps up and his puppets go around. Are you sure, Solomon? Believe it or not, Solomon, I think you should be the one of the ones that goes in there. Mm. Fine. <laughs> you had a greater bond with him than the others. Well, not the others, but you had a good bond! I think Clem's got this. <laughs> and I'm here too. I won't let the boy die. Okay. Kiana, Joel, Solomon, and am I to assume Kuvera as well? Kuvera, help. <laughs> Solomon pounds all of his fists. <laughs> No lose anymore. Very well. All of you, that's gonna sound pretty powwowy and stupid and superficial. Put your hands on my shoulders. <laughs> that does sound pretty superficial. Uh, Just fucking do okay. it! I'm Is fucking doing it! Is your alternative medicine things? Yes! Confirm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright. Come on, Whatever. You know, this kind of reminds me of this one time where I had to trick everybody into touching a cow skull so that we could get away from the skeleton stalking us in the middle of the woods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Story later! Yep, a wrong like tarot! <laughs> 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 Alright, you two. I need your help. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I'll do my best, mister. And deep within Pris's mind, Tenrir... It's ironic. It's not really why this happens, but you feel like this is why this happens. <laughs> why not? <laughs> you see four figures appear around you in the battle 